Hello, welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing really well. Today, I'm gonna to tell you how you can edit like a pro using iMovie. iMovie is Apple's free editing software. So is it really possible to edit like a pro using something that doesn't cost any money? First of all, what is editing? It's the assembly of various clips in such an order that hopefully it makes some kind of sense to the viewer. Some of the best pro editors in the world edit movies and the majority of movie editing is cuts, transitions and adding sound effects and music. All of these things can be done in iMovie. So let me tell you how you can get the best out of this software so that you too can edit like a pro. Maybe in movies one day. So I think the best way to do this is to break this down into various sections. The timeline is where all the magic happens, you know what I'm saying? This is where all your video clips and sound effects and everything that you need for your final video is pieced together in the right order. Once you are happy with how your project is looking on your timeline, that project will then be exported and become your final video. Let's look at all the key elements that make up the project on your timeline. Yes, video clips. If you're making a video, this is kind of the most important part of your project. And I think there are two key things to consider when it comes to video clips. Timing, arranging your video clips in such an order that it efficiently and concisely gets your message across. Knowing when to cut is really important so that your video flows well and doesn't drag. The other really important thing to have a clear idea of is what's the message of your video? And once you know what that message is, you can focus on where you want to be at the end of your video and your entire edit can be guided by whatever it is you're trying to convey to your viewer. The message of this video, for example, is I wanna tell you that great editing can be done in iMovie. So I'm gonna focus on that message and hopefully edit this video in such a way that it gets that message across to you in the best way possible. So get your clips to the right length and in the best order, have a clear idea of your message and all those things are easily done in iMovie. Please do not underestimate how important sound is to a video project. For me, I think it is as important as the video. So you need to choose the right music, throw in a few sound effects here and there and you're in business. Your audio tracks sit beneath your video track on your timeline. And this is one of the best things for me about iMovie because you seem to be able to have as many layers of audio as you like. I've done some big projects with iMovie where I've had multiple layers of audio and I've not really found a limit. So iMovie actually has the capacity for you to create some really nice sound design. Transitions are how you get from one clip to another and often in editing it's just a straight cut. There is no transition but sometimes you can use dissolves and fades. Now iMovie has quite a few options for different transitions but do not be tempted to go overboard and try and get too fancy with your transitions because often they end up just looking amateur. When was the last time you saw a transition like this in a Hollywood movie? Or this? Never. Pros don't use them. If you want to edit like a pro neither should you. You can use cuts, dissolves, fades, and maybe the odd slide. Titles are one of the aspects of iMovie where I think it's most limited because you don't have much choice about the kind of titles that you can use, and there's not much flexibility about where on the screen you can put the titles, but it still does have some nice basic titles. It's one of the reasons I started editing on Final Cut Pro, just so I could have a bit more control and creativity when it comes to the titles. And I can use various plugins to create some fancy motion tracked titles, which can look cool and add a bit of extra pizzazz to your video. Did I really just say pizzazz? Anyway, whilst these titles may look cool and slick, they aren't necessarily needed to convey that all important message in your video. Sometimes a basic iMovie title can get that message over just as effectively. If you do want to get a little bit more creative with your titles in iMovie, there is a pretty decent workaround that I use. There's an app, it's a font app. You can go in there, create whatever title you want with whatever font, and then you can save it with a transparent background. So you would then import that into your iMovie project and select picture in picture and you can pretty much place that anywhere on your screen like here 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 and you can even keyframe it to add some movement like that 
Once you've imported your video into your project, you might want to change how that looks slightly. So you might want to adjust the contrast, the brightness, saturation, temperature, white balance, all of those things you can do in iMovie. More expensive editing programs like Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro will give you much more control over how creative you can get with manipulating the look of your footage, which is why a lot of professionals use those kinds of programs. But I found that iMovie is perfectly adequate when it comes to improving your footage through a basic color grade. We all love a few special effects now and then, and you can certainly do that with iMovie. You can do green screen and split screen. Actually, iMovie does pretty decent green screen chroma keying. You just need to make sure that whatever you've filmed is shot well, and you've got a nice plain green background behind, and iMovie will take that background out and you can put a different background in. Here's an example of what I've done with green screen in the past. From two. What are you doing? It's not your bit until the end. And a couple of times I've also enjoyed cloning myself using the split screen. These videos are hard to do, but if you plan it right, it can be done in iMovie. Now I know some of you out there are triggered by clones, but I also know that many of you love a good clone. What's this about clones? I'm doing a video about clones. I'm a clone. Don't know about clone, you're definitely a clown. So obviously iMovie does have quite a few limitations. It is just free software. I've mentioned a couple already, but I'll just mention a few more. You can have as many audio tracks as you like, but you are limited to two video tracks. Plugins are a massive part of more expensive editing programs like Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro. They allow you to add LUTs to stylize the look of your video. You've got more control over the color grade. You can add all sorts of weird and wonderful plugins. Really, the possibilities are endless. So plugins are not a thing with iMovie. You can't do any of that. Those are all things that give the editor a few more tools to get creative. Great to have, but without them, it doesn't mean that you can't edit like a pro. Editing in its purest form is about timing and pacing, assembling your pictures and your sound in such a way that it clearly conveys your intended message. And you can do all that with iMovie. I think it is a superb piece of free software. And for many, it will be their first experience with editing. And I think it is a really easy and really intuitive piece of software to use. I am a big advocate of iMovie. I was using it for years before I went to Final Cut Pro. And by the way, making the switch from iMovie to Final Cut Pro wasn't as daunting as I thought it would be. But for years, I just stuck with iMovie because it pretty much did everything I needed it to do. And yes, this video was edited with iMovie. Whilst iMovie does have its limitations, by far the biggest limitation is the editor. If you're new to editing, just keep making content over and over and over again until you really hone your skill as an editor. And then you'll be able to use iMovie to edit like a pro. Okay, that's it from me. If you are an iMovie editor and you love it, please let me know down in the comments why you love it so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it useful, give me a like and maybe subscribe if you haven't already. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.